Hey guys, Dan with Paddle North here. Today we're gonna go over one of our newer products. It's our soft roof rack. So it's a system that will allow just about any four-door car that doesn't already have the crossbars and that you need to transport boards to have them on and off in about five minutes. So you'll get two of these very dense foam uh, crossbars and uh, they say Paddle North on them. They've got some different features. You can use them in different ways, but essentially you put these on top of the vehicle. They've got these really long straps that are going to both keep the board to your vehicle and also go through your vehicle and tie it all down and give you this system in about a five minute installation span. So first step would be to open all four doors of the car. So any vehicle that already has crossbars, whether it's, you know, you got aftermarket ones from Thule or Yakima or from the factory, that's not what this system is for, but a car like this that has the rails already, but no crossbars or no rails, nothing, you know, bare roof, it's gonna work uh, for any vehicle that does have four doors just like that. So out of the package, you're gonna get two of these. Um, it will come all strapped up. There are several of these loops or tabs that we call them on the top and depending on what you're putting on, and of course today we're gonna to focus on the paddle boards, but this can be used for just about any type of product. You can go to Home Depot and put two by fours or ladders. You could transport your snow skis, different things like that. And the width of whatever you're putting on there is going to dictate how many or how few of these tabs you're gonna run this through. So this buckle controls everything. It's a cam buckle and it's got teeth to where you know, once you get it tight, you can't pull one way, but you can make it tight pulling the other way. So to release this, you're gonna push down on that lever. That's gonna open up the space. And now I can take this strap all the way out. As I do that, this is now ready to get set on top of the car. But because we're using the paddle board today, with all these tabs, you're only going to use the outer two on both sides. And I'll show you what that looks like. So you'll pull the strap completely out, leave two, ready to go, and then now this is gonna get set on the car and it's gonna be ready to receive the pedal board. There's a couple things to note as you're putting these on. You do want some distance between the two of them. You know, you definitely don't want them right next to each other. So basically you wanna get this as far forward in the front two doors as you can without too much curvature. So right here is about good. On the back one, it's pretty flat. So I've got it justified pretty close to the back of this. And that way it leaves a nice big space between the two. And then the other thing to keep in mind as well is you wanna take a look either from the back or the front of the vehicle and make sure that these aren't positioned too far to one side or the other. You know, some cars are wider, some cars are narrower. I'd say this one is a little bit to the right side from where I'm looking. So I will just pull it over slightly. So next, we're gonna put the paddleboard right on top. So we've got one right out of our showroom here. This is a 10 foot six. This system will take any of our boards and a combination of any two of our boards. So, same thing goes as you put the paddle board up. You wanna take a step back and make sure that the widest part of the board, which is where the handle will be, is between the two crossbars. And right now we're looking pretty good. And then same, you wanna walk around to the front and make sure that the board is not crooked or, or set to one side too far. And from here, we're looking very much like it's in the center. You do always want the board upside down. The curvature of the board then, you know, wants to force the board down onto the car versus trying to make it lift off. And I like to put the tail forward uh, over the nose going forward, and that's just due to the fact that there's less rocker in the tail, meaning it's not gonna try to force itself down on your windshield. Next step, we're gonna throw the straps over so we can get them on the other side. Remember, I've got my two tabs on this side with the strap already going through, and we're gonna throw them over and do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, we've got our straps over to the other side, so now we're gonna feed them through the tabs on this side. And you'll notice that with the width of the board, it does line up perfect to just use these outer two. So those will come right through as they are on the other side. Pull that strap nice and tight, and as a pro tip, no matter how tight you tighten these things, if you're doing highway speeds, you're gonna get that fluttering noise with the straps hitting the board on the highway. So a couple of twists as you put the strap over the top of the board will actually prevent or at least very much diminish the chance of it doing that very loud fluttering noise.
All right, so next step, now that we've gotten through on both, we're gonna send this back to the other side of the vehicle so we can get it through the buckle. So now that we've got both together, we're going to feed it through the buckle and then pull it tight. So this buckle I would call has a top where the lever is that you can control and the bottom. So you're gonna to wanna to open up that lever, feed the strap through the bottom so it comes out the top and then get it uh, relatively tight. We'll go back to the other side to really be able to get some force into it, but we're looking good as a start. We're almost there. So this is the final step. Now we're just gonna make sure that the uh, straps are tight enough that this board's not going anywhere. So I have them through and it's best to come back so you can get some good leverage pulling from this direction. Um, a pro tip as well here, the buckle and then the subsequent hanging strap, it comes with a little Velcro piece that will be able to you know, mount that strap up so it's not hanging down on people's face. Uh, otherwise you can put it up there and tie it, do whatever you need to do, but you can also, move this before you get it too tight and justify, you know, we'll say we don't have a passenger. So now this can come all the way over into the passenger seat. That way it's not hanging down into your face as you're driving. Same goes for the back seat. You can get it out of the way or in between two people. So do that before you pull it all the way tight so it's easier to move. So where we've got it where we want it, we're gonna pull nice and tight. You'll see a little bit of flex in the roof rack up top, getting the board to where once we're shaking the board, we're actually shaking the whole car. So you don't need to go into overkill and really uh, he-man it too much. As soon as you have it to where it's shaking the whole car as you're shaking the board, you know you're nice and tight. So then we've got one done and we'll just repeat on the second one. And that, guys, is how we use our roof racks to get a paddleboard on top. You can do one, you can do two. Uh, highway speeds are no problem. Always double check your work and call with any questions.